Firstborn Athletics. What's up, guys? What's going on? It's your boy, Glenn. This is Firstborn Athletics. Today, we're going to be going over the form for a tricep pushdown. Now, I know a lot of you know how to do it. It's more of what you would consider a basic exercise, but this is more for the beginners or if you just want to brush up on form, that never hurts. Remember, it doesn't matter if you've been lifting 10 days or 10 years, your form can always get better. Technique can always get better. On the tricep pushdown, there's a lot of different handles you can use on the cable attachment. Me personally, I love using the rope attachment. I definitely feel it more in my triceps than when I use a straight bar. So using the rope attachment, first thing you want to do is load up your pin. You're going to grab the rope with both hands and you're going to step out. Now, when you're doing this, be aware that a lot of times people want to come all the way out here. That's, you're not going to really feel it in your triceps. You're, you're losing on the efficiency of the exercise coming all the way out. Some people want to go here. I would say anywhere from here to about here. I like to stand a bit closer to the stack. All right, so now from here, we're going to pull the weight down to the starting position, which is going to have your elbows right by your sides, and you want to keep those elbows locked in. None of this stuff out here, none of this. Your elbows should be tucked and uh, stationary there. When you're going and doing this stuff, I see a lot of this. Again, you're losing the efficiency of the exercise. Once you're doing that, it's no longer a tricep exercise. You're throwing in shoulders, you have some back in there, you might even have some more core. Who knows, but it's not triceps. All right guys, so again, my shoulders are locked. Feet are about shoulder width apart. If you wanna have them together, that's fine. I like to keep my feet shoulder width apart. Elbows are tucked and we're going to pull the weight down. Now at the bottom, that's gonna be your full contraction. You wanna do about a one second squeeze, and then on the eccentric movement, slowly bring it back up. A lot of times people lose the bang for the buck on exercises by not incorporating the eccentric move or the negative on the movement. So again, once you have it down here, don't just, or, you want to bring it down. Control the weight the whole time. On the negative, slowly back up. Bring it back down. Slowly back up. Okay, now another thing you want to talk about is where your torso should be. You don't want it to be standing straight up and doing this, nor do you want it to be like down here, doing this crazy stuff. You see a lot of that. When the guy, you know, when the person who's performing the movement can't handle the weight or they want to cheat, there's a lot of this stuff going on. You want to have your torso slightly bent forward and that's what the movement should look like. All right guys, so to wrap it up, feet either shoulder width apart or together, you want to have your torso slightly bent forward, elbows locked in, you bring the weight down on the contraction, you want to hold it for a moment, slowly bring it back up through the negative. Back down, squeeze, slowly back up. And remember guys, the amount of weight that you use does not matter. Controlling that weight is way more important than the amount of weight that you use. Do not get me wrong. If you can go heavy and still keep clean form, then you wanna do that. But first, you want to master the movement. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on the tricep pushdown. As always, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments box down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you guys on the next one.